What's up guys? So I thought I'd do something a little different, but a little not different. Uh, since I did a K-pop haul, I figured why not let's try doing a manga haul. This year I bought a lot of manga, like a lot a lot of manga, like more than I usually do and I figured I'd show it off and see how this, you know, manga haul goes and if, I mean, people are receptive to it, maybe I'll do it more often, especially when I do that uh, whole buy two get one free, you know, deals from Barnes & Noble because I usually buy a lot of lot of manga and like recently I did buy a lot of manga. I have like two boxes full of manga and comic books that I could just, you know, show you guys what I bought and you guys can see what I'm reading. Um, aside from, you know, checking out my Goodreads account and my manga list on my animelist.net and I'll put those links down in the description if you guys are curious what I'm currently reading or what I have read or what I've re uh, rated. Um, of course I'm going to try to do more manga reviews on my blog and I'm still catching up on monthly favorite type stuff and I uh, will also continue to do my first impression. But for now we're going to focus on this uh, you know, manga haul over here so let's get right to it. This first big giant stack I got at one table. Let's start with that. And I'm going to start with, uh, I'm probably going to say it out wrong, Aoharu Machine Gun by Noi. So I've already reviewed the anime of it. Uh, I think that was last year. And still want to do that cosplay from the show because I really like it and I'm still like crossing my fingers and hoping that it gets like a second season or something because it was amazing and it was great and I loved it. Um, currently I'm actually, I started reading this yesterday and I'm almost done. If you can see that white bookmark there, I got like one chapter left. So. So far, the anime stays true to the manga. Granted, I've only um, read just, you know, three chapters. Two of them are kind of like prelude chapters. Um, I'm not going to be doing a first impressions of it, so I'll just read you the what it's about. Hotaru Tashibana is a girl, though all too frequently mistaken for a boy, with a deep sense of justice. When a classmate informs Hotoru that she was bilked out of her cash by a shady host of a, at a host club, Hotoru immediately rushes to confront the villain, all in to discover that the con man in question is her new neighbor. Worse, he proposes to settle their feud with firearms. Okay, it turns out that they're just toys, but when Hotoru is soundly defeated, she finds herself sucked into the world of survival games. Is this new world one she can actually escape? So this manga is rated older teen, probably because of violence and some like sexually suggestive type stuff in it. Um, on the front here is said who is this pretty boy over here. And you can uh, check his sexy back out on this page here. Um, my favorite character is Yuki, uh, Yukimaru. Um, he is a hentai manga guy, and I love him. He's so adorable, and he's just so quiet. I like him a lot. So, um, since I've already read, like, I've already watched the manga, I kind of knew what, where I was, what I was getting into. So, so far, I do like it just as much as the anime. I'm getting that hype back from watching it, uh, and from reading it now, so I look forward to delving further into this, but I'll probably take my time getting the second volume since I have way too much manga at the moment, <laughs> and that I like need to read, and I need to start integrating the stuff that I have finished, so 
If you haven't checked out this anime or the manga, I highly recommend it. It's pretty good. It's very hilarious. Very entertaining. Um, next is I is a yaoi manga that's ooh, right in the plastic called You Don't Know Me by Raccoon. Uh, it's by Net Comics. So that's what the cover of that looks like. Pretty steamy, right? Um, obviously since it's in plastic, it has a parental advisory if you don't see that right in the corner. So we're probably going to get some hot and steamy stuff up in here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a first impression of it, so I feel like I probably won't. So I guess I'll read what it's about as well. It looks like it's a manhwa. Uh, judging off of the uh, names of the characters, because it says uh, Si Yoon and Yujin on the back. You can see that at the top in like pink. So, uh, Si Yoon and Yujin have been best friends ever since they were little children. One day, Si Yoon's fa family moves away, and the boys vow to remain friends no matter what. Now, years later, they attend separate high schools. Soon has grown into an aloof and a mysterious teen, while Yujin has become a star athlete on the judo, judo team. Through thick and thin, their friendship endured, but now something threatens their bond. Soon has developed fit feelings for Yujin, feelings that go beyond friendship, and their lives and personalities couldn't be more opposite. Little do they know, do they realize that even though you know someone your entire life, they can still manage to hide dark secrets in their closets. Secrets that can twist a knife into your heart. Ooh. It sounds really good. I'm, I'm excited. Um, oh, I just realized, like, at the top it says that it's a manhwa for age 18 plus drama boys love. So, um, if you're not familiar with manhwa is, it's Korean manga. So, it usually reads about sometimes left to right, sometimes right to left, because I own a few memoir and some of them read like a normal American book where you read it this way, as opposed to this way. So I look forward to delving into this one. I have not read a yaoi memoir. I don't know if they have a term for, you know, boy love in Korean manhwa standards. I've never, like, really delved into that. Um, the only manhwa I've read are, like, crazy dramatic love stories and, um, fantasy type things. Uh, Tarot Cafe is one, which I've done a review of. Um, I'll put a link below in the description if you want to check that out. Um, and another one is like one of my favorite memoirs, which is Crazy Love Story, which I think I've read a couple times, and I might read one more, like, through it again for, like, review purposes, I don't know. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll do a review of it. It's pretty short. It's about, um, I'm trying to look at it. I think it's about five volumes long. That's what it looks like on my shelf. I feel like... I've read some other ones, um, Chocolat is another one, it's about idols, and I'm still, like, rereading previous volumes I've read before to catch up to, like, get to the end, because I've never actually finished it. Um, I'm sure there's a couple others that I have read, but there's not too many that I have read, but so far the manual I have checked out are pretty good, so I have high hopes for this one, especially because it has lovely little pretty boys together, and I love, you know, yaoi boy love stories, so. If it wasn't obvious, because I got another, like, yaoi manga, <laughs> this one was on my, uh, Amazon wishlist, and I want to say I put it on my Barnes & Noble wishlist too, to, like, buy from one of those places, whichever one was cheaper. Um, once again, it's in this lovely plastic. So, uh, this one's called Lies and Kisses by Masada Minase. Um, it's also 18 plus for mature content, and it says it's the other on the bottom. And it's published by Drama Queen. Maybe that's a hint of what's to come in this book. Um, 
I'll, I'll read what it's about because most likely I won't do a first impression of it either. Um, separated as children due to circumstances of their parents' making, Tatsuya and Haru meet again at the bar where Haru works part-time. Unaware that Haru is his long-lost younger half-brother, Tatsuya invites the young man out for a drink. Haru, who has forever admired the kind-hearted brother of his memories, enthusiastically agrees to the invitation. However, when the evening takes an unexpected turn, Haru finds himself in a very unbrotherly position. This is Ma Masada Minase Sensei's second manga, although Sensei has not released many mangas. Her short stories have won her the hearts of many Western fans. Enjoy! Well, thank you, book. I will enjoy whenever I get around to it. So, it looks like incest is wincest once again. Um, <laughs> This is just a coincidence that I'm reading this, and, like, I did, like, a whole review on Ani Emo, so, there you go. Maybe I knew that the story was about, like, two brothers, half-brothers, whatever. But it's been a really long time since I've actually, like, read what the summary was. So when I bought this, I just saw the cover, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I remember, I think I put this on my list or something to read. So I just bought it without, like, reading the back to, like, see if I will like it or not. Most likely I will. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I think so far, most of the yaoi that I own, I've enjoyed. There might have been, like, one where I'm just like, mm, it was okay, it wasn't the best, but I still enjoyed it. I don't regret. So, let's move on. So, in non-yaoi, it's still in plastic. I don't know if you can tell by the shine of the light. This one is called Tohyo Game uh, by... Oh, the story is by Gio or Go, and it's adapted by Chihiro. The art's by Tetsuhiko, and it has a little parental advisor on the bottom as well. But that's kind of a given because of the plastic. But that's what that looks like. So, um... Obviously, this has like a battle royale esque like background, if you can see. Um, I read the back, and yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what I got from just the cover and the summary. Is it kind of has a battle royale judge survival game type thing, which I love. I've expressed this many times. Um, on here it says one black ba ballot to, to you, so, um, I guess I can read the back. Um, it is rated mature, it's printed by Yen Press, um, so, summary is, the class popularity contest was supposed to be for fun, but now the unpopular students are dying grisly deaths. The classroom has become a horrific struggle for survival, someone is keeping the game going, but who? Can anyone come out alive and expose the truth? So, this sounds like something I might do at first impressions of. We'll see how it goes once I read it, but... I look forward to it because I like these types of stories. I don't get sick of them. If they're creative enough, I'll check them out. So, I'll look forward to busting into this wrapper and having some grisly fun with it. Um, the next one is another dark manga called Happiness by Shuzu Oshi Oshimi. Uh, apparently she's the... He or she is cr who created Flowers of Evil, which I heard the title of, but I can't remember what it's about. I, I, I don't know if it was like somebody from YouTube or something mentioned it or something, but I know I've heard the title before. And it's published by Kondanchi Comics. So this is happiness. So much happy, don't you think? So, um, it doesn't have any plastic on it or anything, but, um, it's rated older teen, so age is 16 plus. Uh, it doesn't say what genre this is, so, uh, we shall see. So I guess I'll read what it's about as well. The Thirst. Nothing interesting is happening in... Mikoto Okazaki's first year of high school. His life is a series of quiet humiliations, slow-grade bullies, unreliable friends, and the constant frustration of his adolescent lust. 
But one night, a pale, thin girl knocks him to the ground in an alley and offers him a choice. Now everything is different. Daylight is searingly bright, food tastes awful, and worse than anything is the terrible, consuming thirst. The tiny shames of his old life have been replaced by two towering horrors, the truth of what will s slake his awful craving in high school itself. So... Reading that kind of gives me a feeling of Tokyo Ghoul, even though I don't know which of these manga, like, which of these stories came out first. Uh, I wonder if it'll tell me back here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this was copyrighted, copyrighted in 2015, so guessing this one came after Tokyo Ghoul, but I don't really care. I'm still going to read this, because this looks great. Um, story sounds interesting. Um, I think I flipped through the pages before I bought it, after I, like, read the summary on the back and the con, and I was like, I'd like to check this out. Let's see how it goes, and if I like it, I'll just keep going. There you go. So, in other dark and lusty news... I bought two volumes of this manga because I watched the anime and I thought it was amazing and frustrating and I loved it so much that I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna read the manga and hopefully I'll feel that I'll still feel that like like um happiness slash frustration with what happens in this like series. It's called Scum's Wish. Or Kazu no Honkai. It is printed by Yen Press. It's written by Mingo Yoko Yari. And it's rated um, older teen. So um, since I watched the anime, it has have a lot of sexual, sexual adult situations in it. And lots of, um, I guess, occasionally triggering moments of depression. It's just very real to life. And... Anyway, Scum's Wish is amazing, so I was just like, let me check out the manga. So, um, I had no fear, and I bought Volume 1 and Volume 2 of it, so that's what that looks like. So, if you're not familiar with, um, Scum's Wish, um, I guess I can read this little summary on the back. It's really, really short. Um, Mugi and ha Hanabe are the perfect high school couple, but their relationship is built on a single shared secret. They're both in love with someone else. That's the gist of the story, pretty much. So, yeah, it's these two characters. They both love two other people. They find out that they love these two other people, and they decide to just fill that void with each other's presence. So... I guess that makes them both scums in a way, so... Um, if you have not read it or watched it, I highly suggest checking it out. This won't be the first time I'm going to be mentioning this title. Um, so look out for, like, a short little review of the anime coming in the near future, because I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was amazing, and I can't wait to just delve back into this frustrating story <laughs> while reading it. Okay, so I have another very adult manga that I bought, which is Prison School Volume 3 by Akira Hiramoto, and it also has a parental warning on the bottom, if you can see. So therefore it is rated mature and it is also printed by Yen Press. So that is the cover of Prison School Volume 3. Um, I've already, uh, it's probably, I guess it's not really obvious. I have read Volume 1. I haven't read Volume 2 yet right now. A friend is borrowing my Volume 2 and I actually need to get it back from her and trade her for this one. Um, I, I'm going to give her Volume 3, and I also bought Volume 4 from Barnes & Noble during their Buy 2 Get 1 Free with the uh, Yen Press manga. So, she hopefully is ahead of me. So, I watched the anime. I thought it was great. I cannot watch that at work because it is super inappropriate. Um, even though it was censored. Uh, but, 
it is very ridiculous and funny and pervy and I love it. It's like my kind of humor and sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're going this far. It's nuts. Um, but I like Prison School. Prison School is pretty cool. I don't think it's for everybody, but it is, you know, definitely an interesting uh, series. Okay, it doesn't spoil too much, so I'm just going to read the back. Uh, the Shadow Student Council determined, to, determined uh, to drive its prisoners, the boys, out of the academy gets its expelled boys operation EBO underway. The EBO is relentless, and the longer it continues, the more Kiyoshi and the others find their friendships, bonds, and hearts being destroyed. Is expulsion really the only way out? Um, pretty much, if you're not familiar with prison school, it's basically about these, I think it's five male students post, uh, post filming me will put a correction if I'm wrong with how many students there are, but they joined this all-female school that just decided to be co-ed for the first time, and they, of course, are like, oh my gosh, there's like all these beautiful girls everywhere, we should take advantage of it. And so they try to take a peek of them in the shower, and they get trouble, and they end up in this like prison type situation, and they have to work out their debt. But the main character of the show, before they had this uh, shower sneak peek, found that one special girl that finally talked to him and didn't like think they were really weird or was afraid to talk to them because they are the opposite sex. Um, and he kind of tries to create a relationship with her, but it becomes fairly difficult when they're in this like detention type prison setting to make that bond blossom. So there's lots of pervy shenanigans and whatnot that goes out through the whole series. It'd be interesting if the anime gets a second season. I would not be opposed to that. I thought it was pretty funny. The art style was very interesting and even reading it the art style is still kind of like kind of weird. Um, it's like I kind of like the art style but I kind of don't and it's mostly with the guy, the male characters, and I'm just like, you guys look really goofy. But, whatever, I like the story, I stuck through it. So yeah, that's Prison School, Volume 3. So that's what I got at one manga table. So another day, I believe this is Sunday, I went to another, a different manga table and bought some stuff while they were on sale. And I was super, super tempted to get this, like, Blackbird box set. And I already owned, like, ten volumes of it. Uh, it's 18 volumes total in the box. It came with, like, an exclusive art book and something else. And, of course, the box to put the manga in. So I debated and debated whether I should get this box set or not. And the guy was like, well, you know, since you have, like, about half of the series, you could do a swap meet type of thing and get this box set because it's pretty cool and it has some extra stuff and I had to think and think and think. Um, long story short, I did not buy the box because I was just like, what's the point? I'm like almost done with the series. I might as well just keep buying the individual uh, uh, volumes and unless I can find this big giant box set for cheaper or something and maybe sell my individual copies later. But I think I currently own like 10 or 11 volumes. I think I recently bought another volume of it. So I was against it. So anyway, I bought some other manga instead. So let's see. I have done a first impression of the series, of the first volume, and if you guys have been seen it, I'll either put a link in the description below, and or put a, I don't know, in card video or a card here or something so you can see it. 
but I bought the second and third vol volume of Any Emo by Haruka Kurumat <laughs> Kurumatani. Sorry. Uh, so that's what those look like. Volume 2 and 3 of Ani Emo. Um, they're printed by Yen Press and it is rated older teen. So, um, more incest, the love. So, uh, if, um, I guess if you are not familiar with the, with it, the story, the brother and sister are twins-ish, not really, um, they actually come from two different sets of marriages or whatever. Uh, their parents got married to each other so they became brother and sister by marriage. Um, and they got into an accident and they switched bodies and this was after the sister confessed to her brother that, hey, I like you more than, you know, a sister, brother-sister relationship. So, it's an interesting story and that's why it's just like yeah let's just keep going with this madness even though I really shouldn't be like getting the, the rest of this but whatever. Um, I also bought the third volume of Dead Man Wonderland by Jinsei Kotaoka and Kazuma Kondo but I will be selling this copy of it because I did not realize that I already have this from a Barnes & Noble purchase. So now I have two copies of Volume 3 and I really should have bought Volume 4 and 5. Um, they didn't have 4 because I was going to do 3 and 4 but I didn't see a 4. Um, so, if you are interested in buying Dead Man Wonderland Volume 3, uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just going to throw this on Amazon or uh, Barnes & Noble Marketplace and just sell this off because I only need two copies of Dead Man Wonderland Volume 3. That just doesn't make sense. Okay. And uh, Dead Man Wonderland is a really good series. The anime deserves a second season. I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but it really does. Um, that's why I started reading the manga, because I thought it was a pretty good show and I wanted more. I couldn't help myself. I needed more, more of the violence. Okay, so they had a sale and I lost the other rubber band. I think it like blew over here somewhere on my bed. Anyway, I'll look for it later. Or not. Oh, I knocked down the floor. That's what happened. Anyway. They had a sale on this manga for pretty cheap, or cheaper than what you would normally get it. I think this was about 30 bucks, and I think they were selling it for like 17 18 dollars or something. And I've seen the movie, I think I did a review of it like a really long time ago, I don't really remember, because um, that's how long it's been. And all I've heard is nothing but, the manga is so much better, the manga is so much better. So, since this was on sale, I was like, I might as well get it, so, Uzumaki. And this book is gorgeous. I love it. The hardback cover. Good job. I feel like all of Jinjo Ito's, like, manga look like this in this black cover. And, I mean, I might, if I love, if I enjoy this, Uzumaki, I might check out, um, I think it's Tamoy Tamaya. So it starts with T. I'll put the like title there. Um, when a Ventura mentioned it to me, and she said it's really good and it's worth checking out, so I was tempted on buying it from Barnes and Noble during the sale. But I was like, I'm just gonna wait and read Uzumaki first and see how I feel. Even though I know Jinjo Ito is like world renowned, like super famous, popular manga guy, like you gotta read him. He's like the best horror guy. So, um, I guess if you're not familiar with Uzumaki, I guess I will read the back. Um, spirals. This town is contaminated with spirals. 
Kurozucho, a small fog round town on the coast of Japan, is cursed. According to Shuchi Sato, the withdrawn boyfriend of teenager Kiri Goshima, their town is haunted not by a person or being, but a pattern. Uzumaki, the spiral, the hypnotic secret shape of the world, this bizarre masterpiece of horror manga is now available in single volume. Fall into a whirlpool of terror! So yeah, that's Uzumaki. Uh, it's rated older teen, and it is printed by Viz Press, and it's a pretty thick book. And I just love this cover so much, it feels so good against my fingers. This is why I love physical books. Mm, it smells so good and new. So I can't wait to jump into Jinju Ito. Um, maybe I should make it a priority to read this during October and use it for like a Halloween type thing. Because Octo the whole October is just Halloween month. Like, come on. Let's be serious. So anyway, that is my manga haul from Acon 28 this year, and maybe I will do more manga hauls if you guys are interested, so hit that like button if you enjoyed it and you want more manga hauls, or just hauls, or just, you know, videos of myself talking about crap I buy that I don't need, that's just taking up space in my room. And I will be happy to do more of them. Also, if you want to leave a comment below saying, Hey, yeah, we love the manga haul. Do more of them. And I'll bust into these uh, Barnes & Noble boxes and I'll do another manga haul. Because I bought a lot. I have a problem. Uh, nonetheless, if you have not done it already, subscribe to see more videos like this one and some other ones. Because I do a lot of videos every now and then. And I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent here on a uh, money cult mad house and i hope you guys have a great week or weekend or whenever you're watching this i hope you have a lovely day stay stay cool drink water um, um and i see you guys on the next video peace